Microorganisms for Kids, an Introduction to Protozoa, Fungi, Viruses, and the World of Microbiology by Alicia Palmer is a comprehensive resource designed to introduce children to the fascinating world of microorganisms. The book aims to educate young readers on the diverse types of microorganisms and their importance in everyday life, as well as their role in the environment. The author begins by defining microorganisms tiny living organisms that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. A microscope is required to observe these tiny life forms, which are found everywhere on Earth, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, and even inside the human body. Microorganisms include bacteria, viruses, fungi, and protozoa, each distinguished by their unique characteristics and functions. The book explores bacteria, which are single-celled organisms with a simple structure. Bacteria are incredibly versatile and can live in a variety of environments. Some bacteria are beneficial, such as those that live in the human gut and help with digestion. Others, however, can cause diseases like strep throat or tuberculosis. The author explains how bacteria reproduce rapidly through a process called binary fission and how some bacteria can form spores to survive harsh conditions. Viruses are described as non-living particles that require a host cell to reproduce. They are much smaller than bacteria and consist of genetic material encased in a protein coat. Viruses can infect all types of living organisms, from plants and animals to bacteria. The book discusses how viruses replicate by hijacking the machinery of the host cell and how they can cause illnesses ranging from the common cold to more serious diseases like HIV-AIDS. Fungi are presented as a diverse group that includes yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. Unlike plants, fungi do not perform photosynthesis. Instead, they obtain their nutrients from organic matter. Some fungi play a critical role in breaking down dead organisms and recycling nutrients in the environment. The author illustrates how fungi can be both useful and harmful. They can be used to make bread, beer, and antibiotics, but they can also cause infections like athlete's foot or crop diseases. The section on protozoa portrays these microorganisms as diverse, single-celled creatures that can be free-living or parasitic. Protozoa are more complex than bacteria and often live in water or moist environments. Some protozoa are beneficial, while others can cause diseases like malaria. The author then takes the reader on a journey through the history of microbiology, highlighting the contributions of scientists like Antoni van Leeuwenhoek, who was the first to observe microorganisms using a microscope. The book traces how the germ theory of disease was developed and how it led to improvements in hygiene and the development of vaccines and antibiotics. Throughout the book, Parmer emphasizes the importance of microorganisms in human health. She discusses the human microbiome, the community of microorganisms living on and inside our bodies. These microorganisms are essential for maintaining health, aiding in digestion, producing vitamins, and protecting against harmful pathogens. The author also explores the uses of microorganisms in biotechnology and industry. Microorganisms are used in the production of food and beverages, medicine, and in environmental applications like waste decomposition and bioremediation. The book highlights how genetic engineering is used to modify microorganisms for specific purposes such as producing insulin for diabetic patients. The impact of microorganisms on the environment is another focus of the book. Microorganisms are involved in essential processes such as nitrogen fixation, which helps plants grow, and carbon cycling, which is critical for regulating the Earth's climate. The author touches upon the challenges posed by microorganisms, such as antibiotic resistance, which occurs when bacteria evolve mechanisms to withstand the effects of antibiotics. Parmar discusses the importance of scientific research in developing new ways to treat infectious diseases and the role of vaccination in preventing the spread of viruses. To engage the young readers, the book includes colorful illustrations, interesting facts, and interactive elements like simple experiments to observe microorganisms and games to reinforce learning. The author encourages curiosity and observation, suggesting activities such as examining pond water under a microscope or making bread to see yeast at work. The book concludes with a message about the importance of respecting and understanding microorganisms. Although some can cause diseases, many are essential to life on Earth. 
Parmar encourages children to appreciate the invisible world of microorganisms and to consider how even the smallest creatures can have a significant impact on our lives and the planet. Microorganisms for Kids seeks to instill a sense of wonder and appreciation for the microscopic life forms that surround us, highlighting both their beneficial aspects and the importance of scientific study in overcoming the challenges they may present. Through this introductory guide, children are invited to explore the world of microbiology and to recognize the vital role that microorganisms play in our world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.